The announcement that a new Predator movie was being made isn't really enough to stimulate fans these days. Those who follow the Alien and Predator movies have been disappointed so many times it comes to a stage where it's not worth getting hyped up because the inevitable conclusion is to have your excitement shot down by hopeless movies. What was cause for excitement was that Shane Black was directing the film. Black of course starred in the original and is thought to have performed uncredited rewrites on set. He wrote action classics like Lethal Weapon 1 and 2 and started his directorial career strongly with Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Iron Man 3 and The Nice Guys. If there's anyone that can do Predator right, it's Shane Black. Unfortunately, that's exactly the kind of thinking that has led to yet another crushing disappointment in 2018's The Predator. To be fair, the jury is still out on the film. There are those who loathe it and others who thoroughly enjoyed it. Like with a lot of movies from the franchise, it may take a while to recuperate from how different the film is than was expected and might find a love in the AVP fan community as a lot of once hated films like Alien 3, Predators and even Prometheus did with many fans. However, it seems there is one thing that everyone hates, whether you liked the movie or not, the ending. Not the climax, but the very last two minutes or so scene, which makes it even more painful given that they could have easily removed it. So what happens at the end of The Predator that fans found so insulting? Well before we get to it, it has to be noted that in a surprise revelation of events, the normal Predator in the movie, the one dubbed as the Rogue Predator, was attempting to provide humans with a weapon to help fight the Predator race. That's the thought from some of the main characters at least. It seems the Predators weren't sports hunters looking for the universe's most dangerous prey to hunt, they were in fact looking for the strongest of creatures to fuse their DNA with to become even more powerful. For reasons that were not fully explained in the film, the Predators are looking to move into Earth after humans are wiped out by global warming. And again, for reasons unexplained, this Predator seems to have taken umbrage to this plan and has some kind of weapon in his cargo that he tried to deliver to Earth which would help the humans fight the Predators. Now if you think all of this is bad, don't dust off your pitchfork just yet because you haven't heard the worst part yet. So what is the weapon? This is what the final scene reveals. It's called the Predator Killer and the scientists in the secret facility open up the box it's contained in until some strange unidentifiable object rises up from it. Suddenly it latches itself onto the closest scientist's arm like a gauntlet and begins to devour him entirely like the Venom symbiote. The rest of the characters stare in shock as what they're looking at is a fully locked and loaded predator suit with mask, shoulder cannon and about 50 other inspector gadget like devices sticking out of every corner possible. The Iron Man suit ripoff retracts as quickly as it manifested and in his last of many zingers, protagonist Boyd Holbrook claims the suit for himself and remarks, hope they got it in 42 long before the film closes. It's such a bizarre moment that comes out of nowhere and is wrong for so many reasons. First off, the effects for the suit were terrible, it looked like a cartoon. And then there's the idea itself that within the Predator technology, such devices exist where they can strap on a wrist bracelet and suddenly transform into a super soldier is such a self-defeating phenomenon. Suddenly the Predator's equipment, such as his medic kit, his spear, his shoulder gun, all seem so redundant since if you pack one of these babies, clearly you'll be performing all future hunts on easy mode. The suit does not belong in a Predator movie, and the Predator technology does not belong in human hands, not to the extent that the Predator shows us. With them receiving the ultimate Predator gear and then some, when even films like AVP Requiem at least treated that the humans receiving a small piece of Predator technology like a shoulder cannon was a big deal. This is not a superhero film, and the shallow attempts at teasing sequel that will be oh so cool and badass only highlights that we just spent almost two hours watching a film fail to deliver these very things. So what does the future hold? Are we going to see Holbrook go toe to toe with an army of Iron Man and nanotech predators in the middle of space, all firing lasers at each other? The influx of those kind of action movies was precisely one of the primary reasons Predator fans were looking forward to a more grounded, adult-orientated, R-rated action film. 
But it seems now Predator will join the long list of films looking to emulate the success of the Marvel superhero universe. It's no wonder then that fans are not happy. The original script ending had Holbrook's character picked up by a weary and battle-hardened Dutch played by Arnold Schwarzenegger after the movie's climax and taken to presumably join a fight against the Predators. That ending sounds pretty cheesy too, but at least it may have given fans a bit of a nostalgia trip. This one was pure trash. Thanks for watching.